Hello everyone, this is Know Your BPN, and today I'm going to show you how to make a 3IP setup, but this time it's going to be a much better updated tutorial, and I'm going to show you how you should be doing the setup. So first, uh, disclaimer, 100 Up Hosting is a, a reseller of OVH, um, and if you are going to buy off of 100 Up, you would place a new order and you would buy the game VPSs, not the VIP VPSs. This is kind of BS. But, anyways, so assuming you have 100 or no VH, you travel to your server, hit the IP address, and then from here, you log into your server, do IP A, locate which is the first, second, third. So, ETH0 would be the first, ETH1 would be the second. ETH2 would be the third. I would suggest you do it in my order. So we would be going to the first IP first. So 164. And this is the exact rules that would be on here. We would be dropping any DNS attacks that would be heading towards 1194. Dropping this attack called kill all to, eight, to 1194. And then we would accept the rest uh, traffic that's going to 1194. You could also add some AMP ports or whatever if you want to do that. Honestly, this setup is just perfectly fine the way it is. And if you like to prefer to use a different port other than 1194 because it doesn't look good or whatever, then you could go ahead and do that. Just change this numbers and then do it in the install. And you always have to accept SSH. If you want to change SSH port, you could do that yourself. It's a there's a tutorial online that really shows you how to do it. And then you can replace this. But this is my SSH port, my own VPN port, and these are all my own VPN ports. And then own VPN ports. And then uh, you drop everything after. So this would be for the IP that you're connecting to. This does not accept any internet or any of that other stuff. And so our second IP address, which which would be ETH1. ETH1 is again 80. So going to our game IP. This is the IP that would appear in games, not on websites. So you'd accept TCP established because OVH recommends that you always put this at the top. Uh, you would drop... Uh, all DNS basically and all UDP DNS and then you drop 8443 which drops kill all which is basically kind of your main threat uh, but if you think this looks intimidating or like stupid to do just wait till we get to start to setting up everything uh, so yeah you, you'd have these rules if you want to pause the video and just copy them down that'd be great and then after that we would go to our final IP address which would be handling the web traffic and that one is 81 so we would go here except TCP established any to source 80 and same for 443 and then drop everything else just keep in mind that this is actually the same firewall as on the OVH.com website so you could literally just copy these rules on there too as you can see has the accept options, has all this, source, all the other jazz. So yeah. So now that we have our firewall set up, we're gonna have to move to our we're gonna have to move to our uh installing it over VPN. So from here, clear that out. And then we would go to a website called Check Host to locate our IP address. And this is kind of a, or we can go to Google. This is a hotspot, so don't worry. It's a very crappy hotspot. Yeah. So here it is, here's my IP address. So then we go to the IP tables that I will be linking down. And we will put it in here. Put a slash 32, so we whitelist our open VPN port. And then in order for us to keep SSH open, we would need to install VPN, which takes us to over here. This is how we install VPN. You can just copy this link or whatever. Then you just do copy over here, paste this in, let that run. Oh, forgot. You gotta go to the resolve.config. This is where the DNS part comes in, my bad, if this is all jumbled up. So you go here, 
under name server, you replace this with the IP address of 213.186.33.99. Now you don't have to change this one either, but uh, whatever. As soon as you save the file, it's automatically there, and then watch. Now you can install. And so, once you, when, if you're doing with this specific script, you would hit 1 for our connection IP. We want to connect to that. Then 2 for TCP. And then our exact own VPN port, which would be 1194. And then we would use current system resolver, since that gets from the resolve.conf file, our current DNS, which is OVHDNS. And from there, I'm just going to name myself Mike Know Your VPN. Press continue, let it install. <coughs> let it do whatever it's doing, and there you go. Next, you just drag this to your desktop. And then from here, connect. That's the wrong one. Here you go. Just put that in there. Connect to the VPN. And then next, just exit off of SSH. And then we're going to log in through its local address, as you can see. And as you can see, it's possible. Press accept. Go back to wherever you get your password from. Copy the password, paste it in. Ah, it's not working. <laughs> oh, right. Let me just change my password in front of you guys. There we go. There we go. Now we're into SSH. Going to the next step, which is pasting this all in. First, you would need to install IP set, but I have that already installed. Clear out any existing tables, which I'll do for. that as well and then these DNS ranges are for the US version of OVH DNS as if you try if you go into like any other location of OVH servers these uh, DNS servers change per the location so I will show you that in this video as well on how to obtain those other IP addresses to add to this list if this does not work for you on let's say a Germany or UK location but yeah, these are the U these are US locations I will be leaving with the tutorial. And as you now watch this. This is not gonna lock me out of SSH, I'm pretty sure. Wait. Oh yeah, I was right. Ah, I don't think I Oh wait, I forgot to change the names. to DNS as you can see I'm no, not dropped from SSH RIP sets are in and yep now we can surf the web and you have a fully set up OVH that is really hard to hit. OVH VPN, of course. Those websites. I mean, it's obviously not going to load for me because I have a shitty internet. Yeah, my internet's a bit laggy. But yeah, anyways, I hope you did enjoy this video, and hopefully this does help you, and I hope you enjoy your day. Have a good day.